Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotion, and thank you again so much for our time together. I'd like us to come back to the book of Numbers today. For the last few days, we've been reading about Balaam, and my goodness, what a story that is. But let me take you to a passage that maybe, as Christians, again, we don't deal with very much, but we need to look at. Beginning with chapter 22, verse 31. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord, not a angel, the angel of the Lord, standing in the road with the sword drawn. So he bowed down and fell face down. Now notice, that angel received his worship. This is a different angel. The angel of the Lord asked him, Why have you beaten your donkey these three times? I have come here to oppose you, because your path is a reckless one before me. Now does that sound like an angel who's just a messenger? I don't think so. The donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times. If she had not turned away, I would surely have killed you by now. But I would have spared her, the donkey. Balaam said to the angel, the angel of the Lord, I have sinned. I did not realize you were standing in the road to oppose me. Now if I have displeased you, I will go back. The angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men, but speak only what I tell you. So Balaam went with the princes of Balak. Now there's so much I could teach you out of this, but I want you to notice, first of all, did you notice that that angel is not like any other angel? In other places in the Bible, you bow down, an angel made you stand up. The angel of the Lord, this is Jesus. We find the pre-incarnate Christ in many manifestations in the Old Testament. We find him as the commander of the Lord's host, we find him as the fourth man in the fiery furnace, and we find him as the angel of the Lord. This, the angel of the Lord, accepted worship. This angel of the Lord came to oppose what a man was doing. This angel of the Lord said, what you have done, you're displeasing me, you're opposing me, I'm against you. This doesn't speak like a regular angel. This is Jesus. And I want you to notice that there are times that Jesus opposes us. What? Now, nobody likes to talk about this. Oh, Pastor Samuel, the grace of God. Jesus is the author of grace, remember? He said, Balaam, I've come to oppose you because your path is a reckless one. There are times when a man of God like Balaam is actually doing something that would hurt the plan of God, hurt the work of God, hurt the people of God, go completely diametrically against the will of God. Now in cases like that, you'll find you don't need to fight with that preacher. Jesus opposes him. He said, I have come here to oppose you because your path is a reckless one. Now some of you are sitting back going, oh my goodness, Pastor Samuel, it's hard to wrap our brain around all this. Very simple. Jesus, the pre-incarnate Christ, Jesus in his, in, his, in his state before he was born as a baby. Melchizedek, captain of the Lord's host, fourth man in the fiery furnace, the angel of the Lord. He stands here before a prophet who is trying to destroy the people of God one of God's servants attempting to destroy the people of God for a prophet. He is a prophet for a prophet. And Jesus said, I'm standing here to oppose you. Now, when Jesus opposes a prophet who's doing something wrong, there's no matter of rebuking the devil that's going to work. The best thing you can do is quit going against God's will and do His will. Let me say that again. There's no rebuking of the devil that's going to work because it's not the devil opposing you. It's Jesus opposing you because you're going against God's will. You're going to hurt God's people. And when that happens, forget rebuking the devil. You just need to learn to get back in obedience to God in Jesus' name.